Once you have installed the home site software on your computer and then installed the Microsoft Standard DLLs and the QPL home site software, it's time to open up home site and finish configuring it to use the QPL software. The first step in this process is to turn on the QPL toolbar. You can put your cursor on the blank spot of the um, toolbar area, right click to bring up a list of the available toolbars, and then click on the QPL6 option to bring up the QPL6 toolbar. We'll talk about what that does in a later tutorial. The second step you need to do is change the file filter in the Explorer window so that it shows all files instead of just web files. Um, this will let you display your QPL development files as you program. To do this, uh, right click on any file in the Explorer window, highlight the filter option, and then select all files. The next thing we need to do is to change some of the default option settings. So first go up to the options menu, click on that, select settings, and then the first one we need to update is the extension manager so that it's aware of all the editable QPL files. Click on this option and then go click on the add button to add a new name. So we'll just call this QPL files and give it all the file name extensions that it works with. So here you need to put in a wildcard asterisk and then PGM for the uh, main programming file, a semicolon, then an E period, ERR for QPL's error log file, and then if you're a SAS user you'll also want to put in an asterisk.sas semicolon, or if you're at SPSS programmer, you'll also want to add the asterisk.sps extension. And so these are the four basic editable files that QPL adds to the home site system. Um, and then be sure you to click on the editable option to then and then OK to sort of add this as another group of editable files. So the next thing we need to do is go into the markup languages and make sure the uh, italics option is not on and the bold option is not on so that we in QPL it expects to use the I option for italics and the B for bold although there are the new shortcut characters for this but these you generally don't want to have uh, checked. Um, the other option I like to have is to check the startup option and to have it restore files last opened. Um, this is sort of convenient so you can stop a project and restart and it'll reopen all the files that you had open the day before. So once we've done these uh, two things, we need to hit the apply button to apply the settings. And now we're ready to start using it for a new project.